Good evening, folks. It's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Wednesday, January 17th, 4.20 p.m. <laughs> the sun is setting in the valley, but we're getting more and more light. And I want to give you a quick uh, a sneak peek at where I'm at in here. And a couple people asked why I didn't just put tubes in later. Well, because it, according to my design, you can't. The tubes are all in. This is a an out, an exhaust, that's going to be in this large raised box that's not finished. This is still coming up a whole nother level. This uh, this is a finished type of a scenario where the paved stone is going to be completely sealed in here as well. It's too wide the whole way, this whole channel. Is going to be it's about three feet deep and then there'll be this 30 foot run of uh heated raised beds uh there's multiple geotubes at six feet four feet underneath here there's multiple geotubes crisscrossing under here and the water feature which is a 250 gallon galvanized that we're going to do hydroponics in and with a nice, you got to make sure you have a good thick flush so you can blow out all the gunk in the bottom easily. And we're, we're going to be putting this flush out in. But it's sitting on crisscross multiple heating tubes in that area. So that just gives you some ideas of what's going on in here. Uh, this is it's going to act take the heat from the ceiling through a chimney system that's not in i got some couplers and then this tube goes in and around and through under this bed and back under here under the water feature and it comes out the exhaust here in this bed which is going to be a tree then this tube here does the same thing in an opposite fashion all very deep, all now backfilled and ready to rock. So the heating system is in. The raised beds are being built as fast as I can. Uh, all this needs to be painted and treated. Gremlin is extremely stoked. She cannot wait. It's an update on the geothermal greenhouse. Boom! <laughs>